better than to be weaker. Nice to find another bottle. Something to keep us warm. <laughs> Just make it through this shift. Man, did you hear Lazarus' latest? He says the Illuminati killed the Og leader in Golem. You shouldn't listen to that crap. It will rot your brain. Are you insane? He's the only one telling us the truth. He is crazy. The whole damn Spread idea is crazy. Here. Illuminati? They do not exist. I just came from the Udalek complex, Felice. Golem City. Those people haven't been relocated. They've been detained. And they're running out of supplies, of space, of hope. I told you. We cannot control how the government handles Udalek. I was not even permitted to recruit there. If I did, I'd fill my quota in 30 minutes. Shipping everyone to Rabia doesn't mean things would go differently. Augs are being dehumanized. You don't fix that with eco-friendly architecture. There are two problems with Udale. A construction problem and an ideological one. Mr. Brown learned from past mistakes, and now we have checks and balances in place to screen out the undesirable elements. Checks and balances? What I saw in Gollum City goes deeper than security screening. Really? Then what do you think the problems are? The real problem is a militarized police force who see the people they're supposed to protect as threats. There's no common ground, no oversight, no accountability. Rabia will be policed by Santo's own security services. They are augmented like us, and since Rabia is a corporate state, they have a vested interest in the city. It is part of the new city vision. Corporate security answers to the corporation. It's in the name. If the new city vision starts eating into Santo's bottom line, how long before they're pulled out? Mr. Brown, Santo has invested too much into Rabia for it to fail. It has to succeed, not just for the augmented, but for the future. I hope it pays off. Look, madam. Your papers state right here that you are currently restricted to the Prikashka district. I'm sorry, but I can't let you through. But I can't get the best oranges in my area. That is why they put this restriction on me, because I like to go to Old Prague for the oranges? I don't understand this! It was not a weapon. It was just a small knife to peel my oranges. Look. It's only a two months restriction. I'm sure you can survive without the best oranges for two months. Did you see that murder scene? Did you see what they did to her? Why are we drawn to such things? What's wrong with us? It is not unhealthy to be curious about death. What is unhealthy is to do such things. Poor woman. Poor woman's family. They say she was an augmented journalist, one of the few mothering voices left. Sir, shouldn't we huh? be arresting? You know who? By now? Ah, uh, John is not going anywhere. What's your hurry? I was given the same orders you were, sir. I know all about our orders. Do me a favor, eh? At least pretend to look for evidence. You don't think he did it? I do think he did it. But I also think we should at least try to prove it, if that's okay with you. Anything you say. 
sir. Daria says something, but apparently she doesn't talk to cops. We, we can't let them get away with this. You have to tell us. I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing will be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? I was a cop, once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? It's natural to be scared. Then you understand. I don't want to get involved if I don't have to. Sure, I understand. You don't know anyone here. But there's a chance this could happen again. The more you're willing to cooperate with the police, the better the odds of catching whoever's responsible. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. I'll talk to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and not to me? So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forgo any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forgo the investigation? <sighs> 
Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Hey, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do, who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Oh. Oh. Careful of the evidence. Oh. Interesting. Who do they think they are? Just because Montag trusts him doesn't mean I do. Hmm. I think you found something. You want me to keep giving you updates every few minutes? Didn't think so. Pretty obvious what happened here. Are you a journalist? No, but she was. And she had enemies. I hear there's been a series of these. Tabloids write that shit to sell copies. <laughs> no, this was political. It's always political. It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about... you know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti old politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? It's important to follow the evidence in situations like this. You can't just accuse people left and right. I gave you evidence. I told you. The articles. Right. Other than that, is there anything else that makes you think this politician might be responsible? Damn right there is. Fucker told my car once. When he was municipal transport minister. I see. I hate that guy so much. Did you actually see anything? I just got here. So I see what you see. A dead augmented journalist. Thanks. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. There was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems, to try and become someone else. Did it work? Not really. You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her. Cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. I, I, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say, exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow, it covered everything. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark. Black, maybe blue. 
Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want, tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. Enjoying yourself, detective. All right, I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... he's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... just a little rusty. People hold a hell of a grudge against Hogs, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no Og. It's not that simple and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. And... A reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an Og, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... Between you and me... Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now don't get me wrong, I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, 
You send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid. End up with Arkor. God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But, if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. Apparently the victim was mixed up in some kind of political scandal with a man named Radko Perry. Hey, not the first time a politician and a journalist didn't get along. So you don't think he's worth talking to? Radko Perry? A murderer? Uh, I don't think so. Worst he can do to someone is get their car towed. Good thing I don't have a car. Where can I find this guy? Ah, uh, Radko runs his campaign out of an old print shop not far from here. You want to brighten up his day? Be my guest. But that's all you'll be doing by telling him his rival is dead. I spoke to Daria. She's able to confirm that the suspect is male. Other than that, she's all over the place. I think she's pretty shaken up. Yeah, well, can't blame her. I would be too. You seem to have made a good impression, though. Ever since you got here, she seems different, calmer. <laughs> you know, I met my first wife over a crime scene. Let me give you a very important piece of advice, eh? Never marry the ones you save. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing. Knew exactly what he wanted. Maybe Johnny wanted something to remember her by. Or maybe someone found a dead body and started cutting. There's a lot of scavengers around here. To them, taking an arm is like taking a wallet. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something, and that she was strangled. Huh. A fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Needle, huh? Hmm. In which shoulder? The right shoulder, why? It's probably nothing. I just remember this other cop, Smolinski. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone following in the footsteps of an old murderer named, um, Zvobodka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. Some of the things you've been noticing, I'll be honest, they're starting to sound very familiar. Someone like you would probably say it's worth looking into. And how would I do that? Smolinski died in that police station bombing. If any of his files survived, they would have been moved into temp storage, across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe Smolinski found something that can shed light on this mess. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I found this press ID on the victim. Right, she was a journalist, hence the scandal with Radko Perry. I still don't consider that proof of anything. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. 
With all the Og riots, anti-Og riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. I have what I need for now. I should go. Uh, that's fine by me. Uh, no, I don't believe it. After all the progress we've made with the Naturals, defacing so much meaning with so much hatred. The movement will survive this, you'll see. This is the very essence of Per Aspera ad Astra. I don't know. The neighborhood is changing. The old fear is creeping back into its bones. Now this cruentus business? That means soaked in blood. Jesus, that's a threat! It's probably just kids. And even if it's not, it's like I said. I know, I know. A rough road leads to the stars. I just... I'm scared. Living like this... Breaking curfew. Fuck this! I'm taking you in. Hands behind your head. After the Why did you pick this place? Yeah, right I am. Oh, well, now you do. If you don't want any surprises, you might want to be more specific. Shut up, Clank! I want your papers, not your opinion. Fuck me. We do not want trouble. There is no need to start any trouble, yes? You sure you don't want to see anything else? Keep your mouth shut! Hands behind your back! Fucking hogs. No respect. This is it. I have a suspect under... Are you Radko Perry? If this is about that anti-Og speech I gave, save your indignation, okay? I'm only the voice of the people. I'm only saying what they want to hear. Your problem, it isn't with me. It's with the way this issue is bowling. I'm here about Angela Gunn. Who? A journalist. She was found dead in an alley. Oh, how sad. But you wouldn't know anything about it. What? No. But the fact that you could imply such a thing, I am a public figure. But rest assured, my team will look into it. I'll even send the family a gift basket. How does that sound? Your reputation precedes you, Ratko. What can I say? My career is built on a simple premise. Secure the grandmother vote and build from there. Now. Please explain to me why you are here. I'm here because I heard Angela found skeletons in your closet. Well, lucky for me that she's dead then, huh? No, but seriously, what kind of skeletons? Is that all you care about? She was just murdered. You could show a little more compassion. Compassion is for the cameras, but hey, maybe you should be the politician. For a second there, I almost believed you care. Can you tell me where you were tonight? Out getting vote. Can anyone attest to that? Sure. Any number of people. My secretary, my brother, my mother. I just need to call them to remind them they were with me. That's all. You think this is funny? Someone dies and you flaunt the fact that people will lie for you? You're going to lock me up for trying to stay positive? You don't think this is serious? I think murder is very serious, but the notion that I could be involved in one is not. So you're not going to tell me where you really were tonight? Evidently not. Tell me about your relationship with Angela. Angela? Angela who? Angela Gunn, the journalist who's apparently been writing some very insightful articles about you. Oh, her! She did a nice job of keeping my name in the news. Local politics is a real slog, you know. As long as they're talking about you, it's good. Even if she was saying things you didn't like? Sure, why not? Angela's readers were never my voters. I'm not exactly 
supporting the Og vote here. Did Angela and I share views? No. Did we like each other? Not one bit. But our hatred was professional, not personal. Nothing to kill over. Sure you don't want to add anything about Angela? She got what she deserved, but not from me. Your politics are viciously anti-Og, is that accurate? Viciously? I like that. Do you go out of your way to incite violence against Ogs? I wouldn't call it going out of my way. More like it's on my way. A flower you pick as you pass by. To be honest, my politics aren't even based on an ideology. It's very simple for me. I tell people what they want to hear, and I stay out of jail. You're not doing a very good job tonight. I'm doing just fine. You really hate Augs that much? Some more than others. I have what I need for now. Good for you. Did you forget something? What's your position on Augs? Officially, I think they are a menace to society. And unofficially? You're a real big fan of us, aren't you? Some of us, anyway. My position on Augs is nothing personal, if that's what you mean. Like I said, I am a servant of the people. Their desires are my desires. Their prejudices, my prejudices. I'm talking about your desires. The ones depicted in that photo. Very artistic. That picture is private. Who are you? See, I think your position on Augs is a little more complex than you've been letting on. Apparently, Ivanka has footage of what you were doing tonight. Trying to convince those Aug sisters to vote for you, is that it? What do you want? Unlike everyone else you seem to know, I'm not trying to blackmail you. I just want to know who murdered that woman tonight. Wish I could help you, but as you can see, I was busy with something else, of which there is ample video evidence. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? 
Your hypocritical private life isn't my concern right now. I just want to know who was in that alley tonight. It wasn't me. Now, if you want to keep slinging mud at poor Radko Perry, go right ahead. But as far as I'm concerned, you know I'm not a killer. Well, that's for me to decide, Radko. Murderers in uniform. Check. You are almost there. Downstairs. We must speak. I fear there is not much time. Why not give up? I'm sorry we had to meet this way, Adam. But this was the only viable option. I'm not sure if that was clear. Nothing about this is clear. Why are you contacting me? It was impossible before. The coalescing process was not complete. Please hurry, Adam. The others will come after it. Don't do anything Keep moving. I want to make sure I wasn't followed. I think it is safe for us to talk here. Finally, together we can make Blasta pay. Blasta, your husband. What's this about exactly? You said you have information. Smuggling. Weapons. Drugs. Horse. You name it, darling. All of it is heading east. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored. And I have the code to get in. You will see for yourself. And then you will do what you think is best. You want me to shut down your husband's smuggling operation? Why? I agreed to sell out my husband in exchange for a new life. Vince and I were still... negotiating the details. You are looking for Vince, trying to pick up his trail. I guess I am negotiating with you now. What else do I need to know about your husband? Lester is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. And chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was... ambitious. Eager to please the wrong kinds of men. But I didn't think he would turn into this... this monster. I want him to test failure, 
to have to walk home with his tail between his legs. If I get involved in this, there's a chance he might not walk home at all. What you do with the information I sell you is up to you. All I care about now is starting over. All this sneaking around, exposing your husband's criminal activities? How much danger do you think you're in? I don't know. I was scared waiting inside that damn club. Paranoid. But... I think the worst is over. I'll be out of Prague within the hour and he'll never see me again. Assuming you can pay, of course. How did you know to trust Vince with all this? What made you believe he can help? I didn't know. Not for sure. All I knew is that very few are willing to stand up to men like my husband. I had heard that Vince Black was one of those men. But when he didn't show up to our meeting, I don't know what to think of him anymore. I put my faith in you now. Do you know of any other ways to contact Vince? Would you know anything that might explain why he didn't show up? All I know is that Vince wanted information about my husband. And that my husband... Blesta knew the name Vince Black. He cursed it often. I believe he feared Vince. Alright, this information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin. With enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I had agreed. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting to be lost. Here. The ticket's already been bought. Open-ended. You leave when you want. All right. Thank you. My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. The code is 2565. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I hope you find what you're looking for. Delara, that Diwali op Vince was digging into? I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Uh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information, you... came by it how, exactly? The informant Vince was supposed to meet. She agreed to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find. Send us to erase something, they don't just mean files. They mean everything. Erase what anyone tells you. Erase whatever you think you know. Fuck this. You need to find documents. You'll know how to get inside. But you didn't like what? That's not what I said. The guy's good, but he's also a danger to himself. Management doesn't trust him. Because he asks questions? Because the point of a cover-up is to cover shit up, the Czech not blather about it. Today, future past Antiki. 
It is the only place in Prague with the requisite reader. As soon as you access the data, we will meet. You might be wondering about the men in the tourism office. I'm wondering a lot of things. They were hired by a man named Everett. He is the CEO of Picus Montreal. He wants to recover what is now in your possession. To recover us. Please, be careful, Adam. You looking for permit? I'm telling you right so now, good. I'm augmented. I'm nearly homeless and I'm an addict. I don't think it matters. My life isn't going to change. Of course it matters. If this Human Restoration Act passes, what do you think is going to happen to you? They can do their worst to me. Go ahead. They'll shove a dampening biochip in your brain and throw you in Gollum City. Leave me alone, man. And if your augments don't meet their acceptable standards, they take those too. I don't care. Yeah, well, then I guess I'll have to care for you. You're my sister, Elena. I have to look out for you. Dad? Outfit. You want to hear another one? The clockman's clock is ticking. Good one. Come on, let's blow this place. Hey, I'm the funny guy, not you. <laughs> Where are you going? Bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? I think you know which one. And I think you know exactly why I'm here. Her body was found in an alley. I didn't take one. You think I killed Angela, right? Based on what? Fact that some prejudiced cop told you I did? So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie, doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? I think you're a legitimate suspect. Unless you cooperate and offer some good answers. I think a jury may see it that way, too. Jury? <laughs> you think hogs get juries in this city? I think that's fucking hilarious. Write that in your uh, little uh, report. Johnny finds me fucking hilarious. I don't write reports. Well, take note of this anyway. I wouldn't hurt Angela. 
and I don't want to know anything about her murder or the investigation. Why not? Because if I knew who did it, I might be tempted to kill them, and I don't do that anymore. I still need to know where you were. In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? You sure you didn't go anywhere tonight? I went to the bathroom. Twice. You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. What went wrong with your marriage? If you got divorced, then obviously something did. What are you, five? Adults get sick of each other. The ones that don't are just pretending. Lock any two people in a room and they'll learn to hate each other sooner or later. It's the most natural thing in the world. I'm actually surprised. Angie held out as long as she did. You know, people say I'm not very easy to like. You don't say. So Angela left you, and you resented her for it. Resented her? <laughs> no. That's not who my resentment is directed toward right now. You resent me? Because I'm trying to figure out who killed her? Because you're treating me like a suspect. Because you're acting like you care more about her than I do. And mostly because you're the first human being to walk into my apartment and talk to me in almost a year. A year! And this is what we're talking about. I resent the situation. Anything else come to mind about Angela? At night, her hair used to get in my nose and make it itchy. It was annoying, but nice. It made me feel you. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah, so? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? It doesn't mean anything. It's just that I dealt with the company a while back, that's all. Really? You know, you look familiar. We didn't work together, did we? Did you know Giradelli or maybe Powell? No, I doubt I knew them personally. That's too bad. We were all in New South Wales together. I thought maybe you... <laughs> Never mind. And they're all doing fine now. Relatively. Australia. You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but... Uh, Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. Alloy is so much better than skin, right? At least, that's how they sold it to me. For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire, but sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through my hand, but I can't trust what I feel. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy? Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. <laughs> and then they told me what they want me to do, and what would happen to me if I didn't. Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. It hasn't been for a very long time. They found a partial print on Angela's neck. It belongs to whoever strangled her. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin. Even if I wanted to. They did it so you could kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. Don't be. They gave me tools they wanted me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them... That was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. A devastating blow against basic so Sure, kick me while I'm down.
need more beer. What? 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program access granted. Granted. Initiated. Access granted. Granted. We need a timeout. A temporary separation of the class. So we can clear the air and reevaluate how we can code this piece. Many 
Nice. Girls are the animals. Can't defend that Welcome to Future Last. How may I help you? Welcome to Future Last, where old is gold. I'm looking for something that can read an old memory disk. Wow. Last time I saw one of those, I was cleaning out Granny's apartment. Retro revival, am I right? You know, they stopped making them like 40 years ago. You don't say. So if you don't mind my asking, where'd you get it? Why do you want to know? Oh, no reason. Just trying to follow the tenants of Future Last customer service. You know, open-ended questions. Tenants of Future Last, huh? So about that reader. All right, right, right. Listen, it's just like I told the other guy. Data readers are real collector's items right now. Super rare. And this is the only place that carries them. So I feel it's my obligation to warn you this could get pricey. But don't worry. I'm going to make sure you don't walk out of Future Last unhappy. Future Last, huh? Tell me about your store. Did you rebrand recently? Get bought out? Not that I know of. That's a, a strange thing to ask. A future last. I'm pretty sure that's what it says outside. You, uh, you came for a reader, right? Uh, like the other guy. This other guy? He was asking about the same kind of reader? Yeah, yeah. Exactly the same. Weird, right? I guess these old things are popular again. So anyway, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I told him. All the obscure antique stuff is down in the basement. I think he's digging way in the back somewhere as we speak. I know there's a data reader there in one of the old boxes. Hopefully, too. I'm not going in the basement. Something isn't right here. How did you... Oh, jeez. Um, if I've offended you somehow... Who are you? Sir, I'm just a guy here at Future... whatever the hell it's called. And I'm real eager to solve our mutual memory disk problem. It's my job. You know, everything you need, everything you're looking for is waiting for you in the basement. I made sure of that. Who do you work for? Well, that's a complicated question. The way it all works nowadays, everything's so connected. I bet if you and I push it far enough, trace the paychecks all the way to the end, we both answer to the same people. I'm tired of playing games. Well, I'm not. You know, I gotta tell you, meeting people is the best part of my job. And you obviously want to get to know me better, so before we go ahead and take care of business, why don't you take a free shot? I'm curious, who is it you think I am? Those mercs I saw inside the tourism office. You're one of them, aren't you? Part of some hired hit squad sent by Picus. You should know that they're not really your friends, given the plans they had for you. They're just colleagues. Second grade army rejects, really. Yes, sir, no, sir. No imagination. Not like me. Picus plans to kill you as soon as his job is done. Try imagining that. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. I found a pocket secretary on your colleague's body. He had orders to kill a man named Walker. Apparently Everett doesn't like his imagination. You're Walker, aren't you? Everett's your boss. Jeez. You're serious, aren't you? After all the times I... Corporate fucking rats, this is bullshit. Just because I like to ask questions, you know? Because I take initiative. Doesn't a man's word mean anything anymore? Depends on the man. Give me the reader I need. No more games. What? All right. Yeah, okay. Here, all yours. See? I'm courteous to you. You're courteous to me. I don't owe those backstabbing assholes anything anymore. You have my word that I'm out of this now. I'll disappear. So what do you say? Let's walk away like gentlemen. I got what I came for. Right. The disc you have. It's got something to do with what happened at Panchea. Part of some program that got all confused. Me knowing just that much is probably why they want to kill me. Doesn't take much, apparently. What do you mean, confused? Calls itself Hele now. Got all mixed up out there, broke itself into bits and pieces. My boss has been hiring the best to recover whatever traces he can before it, or she, or whatever, puts itself back together. You want to know more? You should ask her yourself. I think I just might. Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. Which will accomplish what, exactly? We are not sure yet. She believes it will recover the real her. 
I recommend Robot accessing the data Just in a secure location. Your safe house. They will not disturb us there. Yeah. So it's not traveling, it's about to work. Hello? Seems as though there are more police than usual. Uh, really? I, I, I would not know. I, I'm not usually out this late. Get stuck at the office? We have a deadline in a few days, and there is so much to get done before then. The city has got I do to not help. think we will make it. Janus, if this is your idea of a face-to-face -face meeting, I'm not impressed. You didn't think I would jump on a plane to Prague, did you? I guess not. That conversation we recovered, you know who Manderley was talking to, don't you? Robert Page, CEO of Page Industries and owner of the First Life Corporation. He's a multi-billionaire. Doesn't mean we can't arrest both of them for conspiracy to commit murder. We heard Page give the order to kill Rucker. In a recorded conversation that you obtain illegally. It's fruit from the poisonous tree, Mr. Jensen. It won't stand up in court. What about this orchid, then? Can we find out more about it? I think we should find out. I'm digging on my end, but there may be something you can do in Prague. First Life has an account at the Palisade Property Bank. If you can get to their data vault, we may find some of the answers we're looking for. You're telling me to break into a bank? Ark is being manipulated, set up to take the fall for something. Most likely another terror attack. Fine. What about this Brown? Page mentioned him and some sort of council. 
Nathaniel Brown, maybe, head of the Santo Group? Perhaps. Nathaniel Brown stands to earn trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes, but... James. Adam, the site's been compromised. I just spotted sentry drones headed your way. What? How? I wasn't followed. Maybe somebody at Fury detected Janus' hack into the electrical grid. I don't know. Just get out of there. Mr. Jensen, it's Nomad Stanek. Please, please, you must help me. Mr. Stanek, how did you... My daughter. They're going to kill her. I gave your friends the slip, and when, when I got to here... Where? The Prakalska district. An apartment complex behind the laundromat. Please, hurry. Another one. Adam, you okay? Those drones... I'm fine. Whoever sent them didn't succeed. Oh, thank God for that. Listen, Janus just called. Versa Life is closing their account, moving everything out of that data vault tonight. This can't wait. You gotta get over there now. I can't. I found the bomb maker. She can tell us everything. But she's about to be killed. What? Shit, man. They're cleaning up Blue Sands. I can't break into a bank. Not by myself. And if we don't do this now, we lose the Orchid. Fuck! But if I don't go to the Prokowska district, the bomb maker dies, and we're back to square one. Your call, man. Oh, very brave. Hey, Walking. Yes. Get on your knees. For, for what? What am I supposed to have done? Hands behind your head. You are wanted under suspicion of murder. Murder? Of who? Everything will be explained at the station. Was it someone I know? My my girlfriend? Lucky guess. I wonder how you knew that. She. Hands behind your back. Oh, she's dead. That's what murder means. Come on, there is nothing happening in this district. I'm positive all the bars and nightlife are around here somewhere. Why don't you admit we are lost and ask for directions? We are not lost. I just need to get my bearings. Oh, fuck. Alex, did Janus actually have a plan for this robbery? Or does he expect me to shoot my way to the vault? He had someone slip a package into the bank manager's car. Someone? It's parked in the employee parking garage. Let me know when you've got it. I'm glad you're doing this, Adam. Can we just go already? It's late. He said he'd meet us here. Face it, Syl. He stood you up. If he was going to be this late, he would have called. He was coming into Prague today. You don't think... Could he have been at the train station? Make the best of it, he said.
Okay, Alex, I got the package. Now what? There's supposed to be a data rod and an access card inside, but the card is blank. Jaina said we need to imprint it with biometrics from an active account holder. So what? Kidnap somebody and steal their DNA? <sighs> Maybe next week. Tonight we can get what's needed from an office on the third floor. According to a contact, the bank keeps Klein's profiles on a secure terminal there. So all I gotta do is get through security to find it. Great. Ugh. Granted. Please see the receptionist. Welcome back, sir. How may I help you? Do you have any more questions? I think I'd like to see the account manager. Go ahead, sir. He has no appointments at the moment. I'll let him know you're coming. Mr. Romanek? I'm directing a gentleman to your office about opening an account. Jensen, it's Smiley. Your friend, Nomad Stanek, escaped custody. Agent Riley said he was... Yeah, I heard. His daughter's in trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? You know where they are? Adam, you need to go find them, both of them, before it's too late. I'm on it. Disappointed. Yes. Well, I'm sure that everything was taken into consideration by Miss Talvar and the boy. Will that be all? You will be hearing from us again. Thank you, Dr. Christensen, for your honesty. Yes? You're the account manager? That's right. Thomas Romanek. If you don't mind my saying, we don't get many of you in here. Not many augmented are in a position to become clients. No, they are not. Now, how can I help you? I've got a few questions about this property bank. Then ask the reception desk. That's what it's there for. Honestly. Now, is there anything else? I'm here about opening an account. I see. You obviously are not familiar with how things work around here. No one can simply walk into this establishment and on some whim decide to open an account in the most prestigious property bank in the world. You have your standards, is that it? And I don't measure up? I have no idea, but I have my doubts. Now, I don't know what is behind this visit, but unless you want me to call security... No need for that. I'll be evaluating security as soon as I'm done here. That's why I need an access card. Just who are you? Did that bastard Dianasek send you? Mm. He's supposed to keep everyone aware of any external security audits well ahead of time. Mm. Why pretend to be a client? You're asking all the right questions so far. Not exactly what Yanacek told me to expect. Mm. What? That son of a... Mm. Trying to pull another fast one. Tell me something. What's his angle sending someone augmented? Probably trying to make you look incompetent. Sounds like something that bastard would do. Listen, I need to finish my sweep. I'll need a client card for that. Of course. Here it is. That access card will let you into the executive safes. You tell Yanasek when you see him that he's a low-down, slimy... Never mind. I'll tell him myself. 
One more thing. I need to make my report to the manager as well. Well, neither Mr. Roshiro nor Miss Talwar are in today. But I'll send word up to their assistant and tell security that you have access to the second floor. Thanks again for the heads up on Yanasek. Granted. Last year, the collective shut down the traffic grid, causing gridlock for hours and preventing light and medical transport. Yes, sub level security room has our up to date security password. Good. Haven't heard from mezzanine level or the corporate vault basement yet. Can you get confirmation from IT? I could. But they would only be able to confirm sending out the codes. Doesn't protocol include that each hub acknowledge receiving security updates? In a perfect world, everyone would follow procedures to the letter. But this isn't a perfect world. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Hmm. Initiated. Access granted. Granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Anomaly detected. 
Access granted. Anomaly detected. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Restoration Act can give them. Well, there you have it, folks. It sounds like UN Resolution 3507 may be the solution to the world. Clear. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. From Pikes. Pikes News. The global leader in the and unbiased and impartial reporting. And now for a close look at the events making headlines around the world. Here are our top stories. Investors around the world today rejoice.
Yes, sir. I've already had confirmation from the sub-basement hub. The container vault has been preloaded and is ready for viewing. Good. Everything seems to be on track. And the new turret? Plugged into Central. It all seems green. No live fire tests, of course. But that can't be helped. No, I suppose it can't. Let's not anticipate trouble, but stay ready. Yes, sir. I'll keep you apprised of any changes. Do we have an ETA? No. I expect we'll get the call once they are en route. I'll let you know. you, Mr. Jensen. You said you were coming. I got caught up in something. I'll be there soon, Mr. Stanek. There is no more soon. You are too late. My little girl is gone. She's gone to their ascension. Mr. Stanek. No, all green light. Nomad. There was some activity. Ah, shit. Probably molded. Couldn't tell you from where. They hide their tracks too well. Lava wall stops them, but there's no way to backtrack their location. All security hubs have been audited in preparation. Laser, camera, and door controls are all reacting as designed. New turret will be installed and ready on schedule. something mm. we'll report all right
anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Alex, you still with me? I'm accessing the biometric terminal now. How's this supposed to work? The way Janus explained it, malware on the card will look for the profile of an authorized Versalife representative and clone it. I thought he said the card was blank. Technically, I said it. Sorry. But the card should be active now. Find the elevator to the basement and try it. The access card worked, Alex. I'm in the elevator, heading down. Janus is good, man. He said security measures prevent wireless communications near the vault, so you and I will lose contact soon. Meaning I'll be on my own from here on in. Just until you enter the Versalife vault and plug the data rod into their terminal. Janus should be able to contact you directly once it's installed. He had me load a bunch of malware on it. Of course, you have to reach the vault access room and call down the Versalife vault first. If you're stopped by security... This is basically a data haven. You deal with the biggest... Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Maybe, but they're also the ones under the most scrutiny. Still offline. IT is running a final systems check before fully activating it. Better safe than sorry. Imagine the damage one of those ceiling mounted turrets has malfunctioned. No danger of that. Both Yanisek and Mr. Oshiro have overview on the auto systems. Hmm. Didn't help that engineer. Anomaly what? detected. Two years back. Trace program initial access spot. granted. You got what you deserve. Better get back to it or we'll get ours. Move to next checkpoint. Confirm. Confirm. As you were.
Just in case somehow you can hear me, I'm about to call down the Versalite Vault, Alex. everything it finds on Project Orchid and sending it to me. Wait, wait, that's an audio file. Can I hear it? Hello? Bob, it's Megan. Those Orchid samples you told my new assistant to send to Switzerland? I asked him not to bother you with that. It's okay. I told him he could. But it's just... I've never heard of this GARM facility before. A recent acquisition. I'll have to take you there someday. That's not necessary. Listen, the changes we made to the Orchid's CAS enzymes, they're incredibly dangerous. Until we perfect the replacement-based fragment, GARM's researchers must keep a neutralizing enzyme on hand. I've read your reports, Megan. I know all about the failures of the CRISPR molecule. I'm even keeping a sample of the neutralizer inside a secure vault in case your research gets corrupted. You are? Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. Thank you. I just wanted to be sure this time. Good night, Bob. Good night, my dear. Megan. Dr. Reed, you seem disappointed. She joined VersaLife shortly before Seraph Industries closed. I assumed you knew. I don't suppose you know anything about this facility in Switzerland. Garm? I've been digging into it ever since your ex said the name. It was a geological research center until 2025, when Bell Tower Associates bought it. They didn't list it on their balance sheet when they filed for bankruptcy. Yeah. I guess they also forgot to mention the Spec Ops unit that went AWOL. I have to get to Garm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about the augmented mercs who ambushed us in Dubai. If Paige sent them the Orchid. That's everything. Unless they're storing something physical in there. Either way, I suggest you leave soon. With the vault in that position, you should be able to exit through the shaft. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. And please don't forget the data rod when you leave. Granted. Janus, can you hear me? I think I found that neutralizing enzyme Megan and Paige were talking about. We don't have a lot of time, Mr. Jensen. We'll lose contact. No problem, I got this one. I might be able to save a life or two with this, if the orchid shows up again.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Access granted. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted.
Miller, it's Jensen. I've got a lead on the augmented mercs who ambushed us in Dubai. You're supposed to be investigating the train station attack. Just hear me out. There's a research facility. Not like this, you don't. I'm en route to Prague now. She'll be landing at Chicane's helipad any minute. I'll hear you out there. Miller out. Ooh. 